good morning good evening good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this welcome to ssc and welcome to the 15th day of static gk quiz show in which we shall discuss festivals books and authors scientific names and borders all these topics are the continuations from the previous topic uh, topic and if you're watching this day 15 then make sure that you have watched all previous sessions so of uh, festivals scientific names and borders from these three topics we shall have five questions each and books and authors we shall have 10 questions making it a total of 25 questions so i request everyone to participate in the quiz and check that how much can you retain the answers so let's proceed the pdf of entire series that to printable and digital read both it will cost you 300 and in this you also get admission in exclusive whatsapp group where you get reminders and updates about the sessions for this please send a message to 7970586599 in whatsapp so let's proceed uh, the first topic festivals the first question bandi chhod is a festival of which state bandi chhod the options are there and your time begins now Punjab, Bihar, Jharkhand or Uttarakhand, Bandi Chhod or Bandi Chhod. Bandi Chhod is a festival of Punjab. Okay, it's observed or celebrated in Punjab. Next, Puskar Fair is celebrated in Rajasthan. The question is, it is celebrated in which district of Rajasthan? The options are there and your time begins now. In which district of Rajasthan? In Rajasthan, there is one more festival, Gangor. We have already discussed it. Here it is asked about Puskar Fair. Jaisalmer, Tholpur, uh, Jaipur or Azmir. The correct answer is Armir, uh, Azmir. The Puskar Fair also known as Karthik Mela or Puskar Ka Mela. It is an annual multi-day livestock fair and cultural feed held in the town of Puskar. And it is near the Azmer city in the Azmer district of Rajasthan. Next. Jalikattu festival is a festival of which state? Uh, actually, this should be Tamil Nadu in the options. Uh, the answer is Tamil Nadu. Okay, there is no Tamil Nadu in option. I'll correct it in PDF. Uh, let's leave this question. Okay, Jalikattu is a festival of Tamil Nadu. Next, uh, Vangala is a festival of which state? Vangala, Tripura, Kerala, Meghalaya or Telangana. The options are there and your time begins now. Vangala. Tripura, Kerala, Meghalaya or Telangana. The correct answer is Meghalaya. Okay, Vangala is a festival of Meghalaya. Next, Kevada Tees is a festival of which state? The options are there and your time begins now. Punjab, Meghalaya, Kerala or Gujarat. Kevada Tees. Kevada Tees is a festival of Gujarat. Kevada Tees is known, uh, it's celebrated in Gujarat. Next, uh, we have books and authors. It's the continuation from the day nine session. Who wrote the book New Dimensions of India's Foreign Policy? The options are there and your time begins now. New Dimensions of India's Foreign Policy. Atal Bihari Vaspai, Abdul Kalam Azad. Amit Chaudhary or Raghuram Rajan. The correct answer is Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the former Prime Minister of India. He wrote the book New Dimensions of India's Foreign Policy and the book was written in the year 1979. Okay, so this is it. Next, who wrote the book India Wins Freedom? The options are there and your time begins now. Is it Achilles Tilotia, Amitav Ghos, Maulana Abul Kalam Azad or Atal Bihari Vajpayee. It is written by Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. So the correct answer to this question is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. Okay, he was also India's first education minister. So let's proceed. Which of the following books have been written by Abul Fazil? The options are there and your time begins now. Abu Fazil has written which books? Is it An E Akbari, Akbar Nama? Both Annie Akbari and Akbar Nama or none of these two books. So Abul Fazal have written both of these books. And uh, Abu Fazal was uh, one of the Navaratnas in the Akbar's court. Okay, Navaratnas or the Grand Vizier. Okay, so both Annie Akbari and Ab Akbar Nama, it has been written by Abu Fazal, who was one of the Grand Vizier. I just said, okay, Wazir. Uh, which we know commonly Grand Vizier and he was one of the Navratnas in the Emperor of 
uh, in the court of Emperor Akbar. Okay, Akbar was the Mughal ruler. Now let's see who were these Navratnas. Okay, it can be asked in uh, exams. So Navratnas, uh, uh, which means nine uh, Ratnas or the nine uh, powerful or influential people in the Akbar's court, and they were first of all it was Raja Birbal. Everyone knows. And then it was Mia Tanshin, and then Abu Fazl who wrote these two books. Okay, Ani Akbari and Akbar Nama. And Fazi was the fourth uh, Ratna. Okay, and Raja Mansing fifth, Raja Todarmal sixth, Mulla Do Payaja seventh, Fakir Ajayuddin eighth, Abdul Rahim Khani Khana ninth. So with this, these were the uh, nine Ratnas or the Nav Ratnas of the Akbar's court. Okay, so they were a group of nine intellectual people from various backgrounds who beautified the court of Mughal Emperor. Akbar. So remember this. I repeat Raja Birbal, Mia Tanshin, Abu Faisal, Faji, Raja Man Singh, Raja Todarmal, Mullah Do Payaja, Fakir Azauddin, and Abdul Rahim Khani Khana. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. Who wrote the book The Making of India? The options are there, and your time begins now. The Making of India. Achilles Tilotia, Amarti Singh, Amit Chaudhary, or Amitav Ghosh. The Making of India is a book written by Achilles Tilotia. Okay, it focuses on India's demographic dividend over various periods in Indian economy. So, this is it. Tenth question Who wrote the book A Suitable Boy? Actually, it's B. Okay, it's not boy, it's B. Who wrote the book A Suitable B? The options are there, and your time begins now. Salman Rusdi, Arundhati Roy, Amitabh Ghosh, or Vikram Seth. A Suitable B. Okay, it's not B, it's boy. Okay, it's boy only. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Uh, Vikram Seth. Okay, Vikram Seth have written this book, Suitable Boy. He have received many awards like Padma Sri Sahitya Academy uh, Award and also Pravasi Bharatiya Saman. So, Vikram Seth is a notable and celebrated author and he have written a suitable boy okay so next uh, we have uh, who wrote the book wealth of nations this would be easy it's a very very famous book wealth of nations raghuram rajan john maynard keynes adam smith or none of the above it has been written by adam smith okay adam smith he have written the book wealth of nations he was a scottish economist and a moral philosopher okay scottish economist and moral philosopher uh, this adam smith have written wealth of nations next which book written by jawaharlal nehru is also known as towards freedom the options are there and your time begins now all of these books in the options are books written by jawaharlal nehru okay discovery of india an autobiography, uh, glimpses of world history and India and the world. All these four books written by Jawaharlal Nehru. And the one which is known as Towards Freedom is his autobiography. Okay, it was written in the year 1936. Okay, uh, 1936 it was published. Uh, he, uh, he wrote it uh, during when he was in prison. Okay, in 1934 between 1934 and 1935 okay so this is it it was published in 1936 an autobi uh, autobiography and it is also known as towards freedom okay Jawaharlal Nehru next who wrote the book Astadhyay okay Astadhyay Astadhyay the options are there and your time begins now Astadhyay which means the eight chapters Adhyay means chapters Tukaram, Panini, Kautilya or none of the above Astadhyay, it has been written by Panini. Okay, Panini was a Sanskrit philologist and a scholar. Okay, Sanskrit scholar. Uh, it is dated around 500 BC. Okay, Astadhyay. Next, Ruskin Bond wrote which of these books? The options are there and your time begins now. How to Live Your Life 2022, publish year, uh, publishing year. Time Stops at Samli 1989. The Blue Umbrella, 1974, and The Room of the Roof, 1956. All of these books have been written by Ruskin Bond. Okay, pretty straightforward answer. So, uh, his recent book, which is How to Live Your Life. Okay, remember this, it may come. Next, who wrote the book Anand Mutt? Okay, Anand Mutt has been written by 
home. Okay, it's not Anand Mac, it's Anand Mutt. Rabindranath Tagore, Mahatma Gandhi, Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, or Bhim Rao Ambedkar. So Anand Mutt, it has been written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Okay, Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, he wrote the book Anand Mutt. It is a Bengali novel based on Sanyasi rebellion on the eighth, uh, late 18th century. Okay, based on Sanyasi rebellion. And its first English publication was titled as the Abbey of Bless. Okay, literally Anand means bless and Mutt means Abbey. Okay, so the Abbey of bless and uh, you know one day matram it's a very uh, well versed uh, patriotic song uh, its uh, meaning is hail to the bengal motherland okay it was basically dedicated to bengal and it was the first song to represent bengal and as the means uh, representing bengal as the motherland and this song was published in this novel only okay in the novel anandamat so it can be asked right so this is it. Interesting information. Anand Math, it has been written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee and Vande Matram is embedded in this novel only. Next, we have a scientific names. It's a continuation from the ninth day. Okay, I hope you have watched the ninth day session. So, the first question is what is the scientific name of peacock? Right, the national bird of India, peacock, Panthera tigris, Magnifera indica. Felis catis or Pavo cristatis? The answer is Pavo cristatis. Why? Because Panthera tigris is tiger, Magnifera indica is mango, Felis catis is a cat, right? Domestic cat, and Pavo cristatis is peacock. Okay, this is the only option which is left. And we have another question What is the scientific name of National Flower of India? The options are there, and your time begins now. First of all, you need to know which is the national flower of India, and I am hoping that everyone knows. The national flower of India is lotus, and the scientific name of lotus is Lelambo nocifera. Okay, Lelambo nocifera. Let's see some other uh, national symbols. First of all, we have a national fruit, mango, magnifera, indica, we just discussed. National tree is Indian banyan, its scientific name is. Ficus bengalonsis, okay, bengalonsis. A national animal, Royal Bengal tiger, Panthera tigris, we just saw. And national bird also, peacock, we just saw in this previous question, right? So, this is it. Nelambo nocifera is the scientific name of lotus, which is the national flower of India. Next, Solanum tubosum is the scientific name of which? Uh, okay, Solanum tubosum. The options are there, and your time begins now. Tomato, potato, carrot, or radish. Solanum tubosum. Solanum tubosum is the scientific name of our favorite potato, right? Potatoes. Scientific name is Solanum tubosum. Okay, sweet potatoes. Scientific name is Ipomoya batatas. Okay, Ipomoya batatas. And onions. Scientific name is Allium kepa. Okay, Allium kepa. Remember it. Onion. Okay. Next. Solanum lycopersicum is the scientific name of which? Solanum lycopersicum. It's not potato because we just saw that potatoes scientific name is scientific name of potato was Solanum tubosum. And Solanum lycopersicum is the scientific name of tomato, right? Scientific name of tomato. Next we have Formicidae is the scientific name of which of this? Uh, Formicidae. Mosquito. Cockroach, ant, or elephant. So the formi side is the scientific name of ant. Okay, ant. Now we have as we complete scientific names. Now we have borders. Okay, very important. Borders is the continuation from the ninth D. Kerala is not bothered by which of these states? Okay, not bothered by. The options are there. And your time begins now. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Goa, and Madhya Pradesh. There can be more than one answers as well. 
as in this case because the correct answer is both C and D as you can see on this map that Kerala is bordered by Karnataka and Tamil Nadu as states okay you can say read also uh, it is bordered by states of Karnataka uh, which was formerly Mysore and uh, it is bordered by Karnataka in the north right and then you can see that it is bordered by Tamil Nadu in the east uh, by the Arabian Sea to the south and west okay to the south Arabian Sea to the west Arabian Sea to the east Tamil Nadu and to the north Karnataka right and uh, it also surrounds a segment of Puducherry okay Puducherry which is a union territory and uh, it surrounds a segment of Puducherry and the, that segment is Mahe okay Mahe Mahe is a segment of state of Puducherry on the northwestern coast so remember this okay Kerala is not bothered by uh, Goa and Madhya Pradesh as you can see Madhya Pradesh is very far and Goa is also bordering some other states Kerala is not touched by Goa and Karnataka and Bangalore are the only Indian states with which uh, bordered borders uh, Kerala fine next Goa is bordered by which of these uh, states the options are there and your time begins now okay Goa is bordered by which of these states Maharashtra, Karnataka, Telangana or Tamil Nadu. So Goa is bordered by both Maharashtra and Karnataka. Okay, as you can see here, it is a very small Goa, the smallest uh, state in terms of area, and it is uh, bordered by Maharashtra. Okay, it is bordered by Maharashtra on the north. Okay, so Maharashtra on the north, as you can see, and uh, Karnataka on the east. Okay, Karnataka on the east and south as well okay and arabian sea is on its west okay so simple okay very simple border goa Kar maharashtra karnataka right so this is it goa is bordered by maharashtra and karnataka as states uh, uttar pradesh is bordered by uh, you can see the options right uttar pradesh is bordered by what let me run the timer the options are okay it got revealed okay let us leave this okay i'm skipping the timer uttar pradesh is ordered by eight uh, bordered by sorry eight states one union territory and one country let us check so this is our mighty uttar pradesh the largest state in terms of population okay in terms of population largest state so uh, which is the largest state in terms of area by the way please comment down so uttar pradesh is bordered by as we are discussing eight states which are these eight states let's see so it's bordered by bihar okay bihar on the east okay bihar on the east and then you can see it's bordered by jharkhand and chhattisgarh on the southeast okay as you can see jharkhand and this one is chhattisgarh okay please check my uh, highlighter jharkhand and chhattisgarh on the southeast and then it is bordered by state of Madhya Pradesh in the south. Okay, as you can clearly see, Madhya Pradesh is on its south, and uh, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh are on its southeast. So uh, Jharkhand is there, Chhattisgarh is there, uh, Madhya Pradesh is on south, and state of Rajasthan and Haryana and Delhi on the west. So as we were saying that Rajasthan is the state and Haryana is on the west, and also Delhi which is uh, between this Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, it's also on the west side. And it says a very, very narrow border with Himachal Pradesh as well. As you can see, just the vertice of this Uttar Pradesh is touching Himachal Pradesh. Also, like both these vertices are meeting, okay? Like on map, it seems insignificant, but there is border between Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. So in total, there are uh, eight states, okay? Option number uh, C okay eight states and one union territory which one is it it is uh, Delhi fine and one country I think it's clearly visible Nepal okay Nepal is the country so Uttarakhand Haryana Rajasthan Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh Jharkhand uh, Bihar okay so these are the states uh, Himachal Pradesh as well eight states one union territory Delhi and one country Nepal so I hope it is fine next Delhi is bordered by which of the following? Okay, Delhi. The options are there and your time begins now. Haryana and UP, Haryana and HP, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and HP, or Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. UP is Uttar Pradesh, HP is Himachal Pradesh, it's Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. You can clearly see on this map, okay, the same map uh, we can visualize. 
uh, let me turn on the highlighter yeah in the same map you can visualize the highlighter is it visible on this color anyways you can see that uh, you can read also straddling the yamuna river primary and western on or the right bank delhi says borders with state of uttar pradesh in the east with the state of haryana in the remaining direction very simple okay suppose if this is delhi on this east side it is uttar pradesh and on its remaining side it's haryana fine so uh, this delhi which is our national capital it says borders with haryana and uttar pradesh option number e is the correct answer and the last question is assam borders west bengal we all know and all northeastern states except which one the options are there and your time begins now so assam borders west bengal and all northeastern states except which state mizoram tripura sikkim or arunachal pradesh i think this should be pretty easy because we all know that sikkim does not set its borders with assam right so assam borders with west bengal and all northeastern states so it's pretty simple uh, along with uh, west bengal there must be uh, you know there are eight northeastern states sikkim is excluded okay assam is itself so there are six states plus west bengal seven states total which sets uh, like two which assam sets its borders fine so assam sets interstate borders with arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur mizoram four tripura five meghalaya six and west bengal seven okay seven states in total it, it does not shares its borders with sikkim so i just hope it is clear so with this we complete the uh, all the questions so let us uh, do the revision please write the uh, scores that how much did we score out of 25 okay let us revise all these questions so from festivals we saw that bandi chhod divas is festival of punjab pushkar fair is celebrated in ajmer district of rajasthan jalikattu is festival of tamil nadu vangala is festival of meghalaya kevada is its festival of gujarat from book and authors we saw new dimensions of india's foreign policy it's written by atal bihari vajpay indian freedom is written by abdul kalam azad okay maulana abdul kalam azad and uh, Abu Fazl have written both Annie Akbari and Akbar Nama. We saw that there are nine or the uh, Navratnas in Akbar's court. Who were they? Raja Birbal, Mia Tanshin, Abu Fazl, who wrote these two books. Fazi, Raja Man Singh, Raja Todarmal, Mulla Do Payaza, Fakir Azadin, Abdul Rahim Khani Khan. Okay, these were the nine Ratnas. And then uh, we saw. That the making of India is written by Achilles Tilotia. A sweet able boy is written by Vikram Seth. Wealth of Nations is written by Adam Smith, and uh, autobiography is the book which is also known as Towards Freedom, written by Jawaharlal Nehru. A Star of the High is written by Panini, Sanskrit scholar. Ruskin Bond wrote all of these books: How to Live Your Life, Time Stops at Samli, The Blue Umbrella, and The Room of the Roof. Of which How to Live Your Life is the recent one. Anand Mutt it is written by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Okay, Anand Mutt. Scientific names we saw that peacock. Scientific name is Pavi cristatus, and uh, we saw that a uh, national flower of India is lotus, and its scientific name is Nelumbo nocifera. Solanum tuberosum is the scientific name of potato. Solanum lycopersicum is the scientific name of tomato. Formicidae is the scientific name of ant. Talking about borders, we saw that Kerala is not bordered by. Uh, Goa and Madhya Pradesh. It's bordered by Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Mahe. Okay, Kerala surrounds Mahe, which is a segment of Puducherry. And then we saw Goa is bordered by Maharashtra and Karnataka only. And uh, Uttar Pradesh is bordered by eight states, one union territory, and one country. Okay, we saw which are those eight states. And then Delhi is bordered by Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. And finally, Assam says it's bordered with west bengal and all northeast states except sikkim okay so this we can see on this map so with this we complete all these questions you get the pdf of entire series that to printable in just rupees 300 okay you will get it on a dd basis so for that you need to whatsapp to 7797058659 so with this we complete it thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc sikkim bye bye